Are you tired of lag, stuttering, and low FPS making Fortnite slow on your PC? In this video, I'll show you how to use potato graphics on Intel, AMD, or Nvidia to get smoother gameplay, fix the ground textures, and boost your FPS a lot. So stay with me, and we'll make Fortnite run super fast and smooth in Chapter 6. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. The very first thing we are going to do is clean out all the junk files from your computer. These files are not needed anymore and just sit there, taking up space and slowing things down. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the small run box. In that box, type temp and press enter. A folder will pop up filled with files that are safe to delete. Select all of them and press delete. Some files might not delete because they are in use. Don't worry about those, just skip them. Now repeat the same process again. Press Windows plus R, but this time type percent temp percent and press enter. Another folder will open with even more temporary files. Again, select everything inside and delete it. If some files stay, just ignore them. Doing this step helps remove useless clutter frees up storage, and makes your computer run more smoothly. With fewer files slowing things down, Fortnite will have more free resources to run better. This can slightly increase FPS and reduce little slowdowns caused by your system trying to manage junk data. Step 2. Make Fortnite a priority so it runs smoother. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Next, we're going to make Fortnite more important to your computer so that it runs smoother and has less lag. Normally, Windows gives attention to many apps at the same time, but here we'll tell it to focus more on Fortnite. Open the folder called Fortnite Priority Manager. Inside, you will see three different files. Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, and Fortnite High Priority. These files are made for different PC types. If your computer is low-end or weak, double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. If your computer is mid-range, double-click Fortnite Medium Priority. And if you have a strong gaming PC, double-click Fortnite High Priority. When you double-click one of these, a pop-up will appear asking if you want to allow changes. Click Yes. This will update the Windows registry so Fortnite always runs at that priority every time you open it. You won't have to repeat this again. Step 3. Make sure Fortnite uses all your CPU cores. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Your computer's CPU has multiple cores, which are like little processors inside it but Windows doesn't always use all of them, especially on weaker PCs. This can make Fortnite slower. To fix this, we'll use a free tool called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control. Once it's installed, open the app. Inside Park Control, select the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan makes sure your CPU stays at full speed when gaming. Now change these settings. Parking AC equals disabled parking DC equals disabled frequency scaling AC equals 100%. Frequency scaling DC equals 100%. These options stop Windows from shutting off CPU cores or lowering their speed to save energy. Next, turn on Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This setting lets your CPU save power when idle. But as soon as you launch Fortnite, it switches to full performance instantly. Finally, go to your Windows Power Options and set Bitsum Highest Performance as the active power plan. Click Make Active and then Apply. This ensures Fortnite can always use all the CPU power available which leads to higher FPS, less stuttering, and smoother gameplay overall. Step 4. Change graphics settings for better Fortnite performance. NVIDIA or AMD. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now let's fix Fortnite's graphics so the game focuses on speed instead of fancy visuals. The steps are slightly different depending on if you use NVIDIA or AMD slash Intel graphics. If you have NVIDIA, open the folder called NVIDIA Potato Graphics. Inside it, there are two files, Fortnite Optimized Settings and NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Double-click NVIDIA Profile Inspector and click Yes when asked for permission. At the top of the program, type Fortnite in the search bar and select the Fortnite profile. Then click Import. Next, open the Fortnite Optimized Settings file from the NVIDIA Potato Graphics folder and click Open. After that, click Apply Changes. If you want to reset things later, click Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Default and close the tool. If you have AMD or Intel, Go to the folder called AMD Potato Graphics. Right-click the file named GameUserSettings.ini and click Copy. Then press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent, and hit Enter. Go to Fortnite game greater than saved, greater than config, greater than Windows client, and paste the copied file there. When asked, click Yes to replace it. These changes remove heavy graphics effects like shadows, grass, and other details that slow the game down. It makes Fortnite much faster and reduces input delay, giving you smoother FPS and more responsive gameplay. In this step, I'm going to show you a reliable tool that can help you get more stable ping while gaming. 
First, head over to the official Gear Up Booster website using the link in the description and download the tool. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once it's installed, open the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games installed on your PC. If you switch to the Games tab, you can also browse thousands of supported titles for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, Fortnite. Click the Boost button and Gear Up will begin optimizing your connection. It will also recommend the best server for you. Next, you'll be asked to choose a server region. For the best connection, select the nearest server to your location. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After that, you can close the window and move to the end tab, where you'll see a list of available servers in your chosen region. You can either pick the nearest one yourself or let Gear Up automatically select the best option. I suggest leaving it on automatic for the most stable results. Finally, close the setup window and launch your game directly from Gear Up Booster. This process helps reduce ping, improve stability, and make your overall gameplay experience smoother. Step five, use MSI Utility to reduce lag in Fortnite. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Next, we are going to use a tool called MSI Utility V3 to make your hardware communicate with Windows more efficiently. This helps reduce lag and input delay while playing Fortnite. Open the program and you will see a list of all the hardware devices on your PC. Look for your graphics card for example, NVIDIA or AMD. In the same row, check the box under the MSI column and set the interrupt priority to high. If you also have an integrated graphics card, like Intel UHD graphics, do the same for that too. Check the MSI box and set the priority to high. When you are done, click Apply and close the program. This makes your graphics card respond faster whenever Fortnite sends a request. In simple words, it lowers the time between when you press a button or move your mouse and when you see the action happen in the game. Step 6. Turn off extra Windows services to boost Fortnite FPS Windows. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. It always runs a lot of background processes and services, but most of them are not needed for gaming. These waste CPU and RAM that Fortnite could be using. To fix this, we'll use a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. Go to your FPS Boost Pack folder and open the text file inside. Copy all the code written in it. Then search for PowerShell in Windows, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator. Paste the code into PowerShell and press Enter. This will launch the Chris Titus Tech Utility. Inside the Utility, go to the Tweaks tab. You will see three performance levels. Minimal. Turns off only a few background tasks. Standard. Turns off more background services for better performance. Before making any changes, the tool creates a system restore point so it's safe to use. Choose the option you prefer and then click Run Tweaks. Once done, close the program. By doing this, you free up more CPU and RAM, which means Fortnite can run smoother with fewer FPS drops or freezes during gameplay. Step seven, reduce keyboard input lag. Using filter keys setter for Fortnite. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. In this step, we'll make your keyboard react faster by using a simple tool called Filter Keys Setter. This helps a lot in Fortnite because fast inputs are important for building and reacting quickly. Open Filter Keys Setter and you will see three settings to adjust. Change them to these values. Ignore. Under 0 milliseconds, removes any delay before your key press is detected. Repeat delay, 130 milliseconds. Controls how fast a key starts repeating when you hold it. Repeat rate, 10 milliseconds. Makes repeated key presses happen much faster. After setting these values, tick the small box on the right to activate them, then click OK to apply. Now your keyboard will respond much faster during gameplay. When you press a key, Fortnite will instantly detect it, giving you quicker reactions and better control, which can really help in intense fights. Step 8. Use Game Mode and High Performance Graphics Settings First, open Windows Settings and search for Game Mode. Turn it on so your PC gives more resources to Fortnite and fewer to background tasks. Next, search for Graphics Settings. Click Browse, then go to your Fortnite Season 3 folder. Find the file Fortnite Client-Win64-Shipping.exe and click Add. Once it's added to the list, click on it. Choose Options, select High Performance, and click Save. This makes sure your PC always uses your main GPU for Fortnite instead of switching to a weaker one. It will boost FPS, lower lag, and keep gameplay much smoother. If you follow all these steps carefully, Fortnite will run a lot better, even on older or low-end PCs. You'll get higher FPS, smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and more responsive controls. Don't forget to restart your PC after finishing all steps so every change is applied correctly.